Now this uh, this project is from a tutorial that I that I watched. Um, it's really great. It's great music. Uh, this is just some techno music, and he's got a bunch of tracks, and he uses these auxiliaries and buses. Um, a lot of times, what you want to do is use these to group certain groups together. For example, right here. the drums and all these red ones go to bus 3 down here this these blacks are the buses um, and then and then bus 3 has all these effects one two three effects on it uh, you can see right here it has all these effects all these drums are going bus 3 to here and uh, the next one go all the way down all these got uh, hats you got some effects and stuff they're going to this one all these ones, these bass tracks are all going to bus 4. All these ones are going to bus 5. So they all have their separate uh, uh, features uh, within their buses. But like I mentioned earlier, you can automate you can automate the effects. So let's take a look at this one. I'm going to open up this effect. This is a low cut effect. Now if I press A, then I get this menu. I can go to low cut and frequency. Now I get a different color and I can change so that take a look at this when it's moving. Just like volume does and it's one of these buttons. So all these effects that we have that we looked at, all these buttons, this one, this one, this one, all the effects can be changed through time with automation. Now, all these tracks are going to bus three, and bus three has its own has three has three effects, and so it can change its own effects through time with automation, and that will affect all these instruments that it is affecting, because they're all being sent here. So if I open it up, these are the three ones or the three effects that it has. If I click on here, I can see which ones it's changing. In this case, the uh, the light green is a low cut frequency, um, and that would be this one right here. So as you see through time, it's it's moving, and when it gets to here, it goes back down to zero. So this is what it sounds like. happens a lot in techno music is they're taking away frequencies and then they bring them back in so let me just solo and so you can hear how this sounds like this is a low cut or high pass filter low cut because it's cutting the frequencies and it's bring and it's moving this threshold thing up so this is what it sounds like higher and higher so even though the drums were playing this low beefy frequency stuff it was cut off so you only heard the very highest frequencies this is very common in uh, techno music uh, let's take a look at the bass part now this is the bass that's playing and it has these three tracks this is the bass uh, bus and auxiliary and take a look at its effects these are the effects that are going on right here the frequency it also has a high pass frequency um, so let's take a look at that. We'll open it up. Oh, here it is. And you can hear how it changes. added to the song the only thing that happened on this bass part is that the frequencies that were already there were taken out temporarily and then put back in when we got to this point right here so this is what the real
whole song uh, with all the other tracks sounds like. added for the bass it's all it's just that the instruments were had their their lower frequencies taken away and then they were put back in that's a really cool effect that you can have um, so that's busing that's some of the effects you some of the possibilities you can do um, I hope that you take a look at more tutorials online uh, on YouTube uh, Google it there are just tons of tutorials that are out there um, and this concludes the whole um, five hour long um, tutorial session I hope you learned a lot. I actually learned a whole lot uh, just going through this whole process. Um, I'm going to just finish. We'll have the music play, and I'm going to uh, show some more. Um, I'm just going to have some pop-ups of the websites that have helped me the most in finding some of these things out. Um, I also have a f I should have a folder uh, available for you to uh, take a look at some of these things. There are things on YouTube. There are things on all kinds of places online and I'll include all those places for you to look at. Um, there's also the manuals of, of the East West and Logic's manuals that you can look at. Um, and uh, so I'll have a bunch of things available for you uh, to take a look at and some forums and all kinds of things. So thank you for watching and I hope you are excited about making some great music. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.